what is up guys better product for you here and today i got a great show for you guys i'm going to talk a little bit about ebay i'm going to show you guys some pickups that i got and uh if you guys are familiar with my channel you might also see that i changed the channel name to better product for you from uh dan buds uh the reason being better product for you is the name of my ebay store so i just thought it was a better name so let me know what you think of that in the comment section um got a few pickups i'm gonna show you guys got a few sales i'm gonna show you guys uh got some plans i'm gonna show you or share with you and uh, i'm just gonna check in with everybody because i've not made a video in a long time like maybe i think going on a month now i had a few things going on but everything's sorted out now so <clears throat> so with all that said let's get straight to the pickups Okay, the first pickup I had was this Dunlop air compressor um, picked up for £1.50 from the charity shop. Um, it's a sim simple air compressor uh, with the lighter, it comes with a few attachments in there on the booklet. Hope to achieve £12.99 for that. Uh, I picked up this Prada beanie hat. Oh, I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, picked that up for uh, four pounds fifty from the local charity shop. Uh, I've been looking at prices of them, so hoping to achieve around thirty nine ninety nine to forty pounds for that. I have seen them so um, pre used for seventy pounds, but I'm not going to be greedy and ask for that. So I think I've got that up there for thirty nine ninety nine. Okay, so we got this Gucci wallet right here that uh, is also sold now. It's in pretty worn condition. Uh, it's tan leather with the uh, GG print on it. Um, it does look genuine because I can see a serial number. Um, I don't know if it's showing up in the camera right there, but there is a serial number uh, in the fold. Um, and it says Gucci on the uh, on the button 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 i had this up there for 19.99 plus two pounds 90 shipping and uh, sold within a few hours of me putting it up there um i'm gonna ship that out today okay oh yeah and i picked that up for uh five pounds from the local charity shop okay this is a um star wars Death Star Nightlight. I uh, picked up for two pounds from the local charity shop. Um, it, it also was a star map of, uh, I believe it's the planets in the Star Wars galaxy. And uh, it lights up. If I can find the button and show you. Yeah, so it also lights up. Not, not really bright, but lights up just enough when the um, lights are out. And, uh, Plus it has a star map on there. I'll turn the light off so see if you can see it even better. But it's got the names of um, the Star Wars planets in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's up for two pounds. Like I said, hope to achieve around, I would say 12 pounds for that. And it, I, um, it, I can't see any markings on it like to say what day it is. But to me, it looks like maybe from the 90s or something like that. Or uh, even the 80s. But... Um, just to play it safe, I'll say the 90s. So anybody that knows me knows that I usually pick up um, clothes. Uh, that's my number one go-to uh, item to pick up and sell on my eBay store. So I'm going to show you a few clothing items that I picked up a few days ago. So you've seen the Prada beanie hat. Um, I'm going to show you this. Burberry London uh, polo, which is pretty cool. Uh, picked up for four pounds fifty from the charity shop. Um, in good use condition. Uh, I think this was a size extra large, but um, but check that out. Uh, so Burberry, um, in good condition. Uh, I've seen me selling for around forty to fifty pounds uh, used on eBay. So I put them up there for I think uh, thirty nine ninety nine. Hopefully I can achieve that. I should achieve that. I think I've already sold one about two days ago. So 
I'm well in pro profit on all this. Um, I've got a few more Burberry. I think I got, uh, bought like four or five Burberry tops. But this one is a um, Tommy Hill figure. Um, I think it's a size extra large, extra, extra large. Um, it's a pinkish salmon color. Uh, picked up for three pounds, I believe, from the charity shop. And um, hoping to achieve around fourteen ninety nine back for that. And uh, I think we've got uh, Lacoste. Yeah, this is a Lacoste uh, polo. Uh, pretty good condition, used condition, but in good condition. Um, pretty interesting pattern, looks pretty retro. Uh, I've got this up there for, I think, eighteen ninety nine. I picked it up for two pounds from the charity shop. So it was a steal, a bargain. I didn't really pay too much for it. Um, I'm not going to keep uh, going through a whole bunch of clothes. I did buy more than this, but um, I'm not going to keep showing you because I understand it can be a little bit boring sometimes. But uh, hopefully that's why you come to the channel to uh, not be bored, but to see the items that are picked up. But anyway, here is the extra large Burberry Polo. Um, another one that I picked up. Um, very good condition. All these are uh, great uh, sizes too, extra large. It seems like uh, the bigger the clothes are, uh, the more money you can get for them. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, it fins nice. And uh, let me show you one more polo shirt that I picked up. So I picked these all up in the same day from the same charity shop. Uh, they just had like a big drop off. Um, I just saw the, the truck leave as I uh, walked in, as I was walking in. Oh, and this is another Burberry polo top. Um, size extra extra large uh, striped uh, so it's, it's got a little bit of wear on the collar it looks a little bit uh, faded but I mentioned that in the uh, item description so there shouldn't be any problems and I took a few good uh, pictures of that so still looking to achieve $24.99 for that at least if not 30 I forget what I've listed it up there for now I believe I picked that up for four pounds um, I don't know if I've actually shown one of these in one of my previous videos, but if I didn't, let me just take it out the bag real quick. This is a Arriva um, bus driver jacket. Uh, I sold a few of these in the past, last year, matter of fact, maybe about six or seven months ago, I had about uh, three or four of these jackets and they all sold pretty quickly, like getting 20 pounds a jacket and I was selling to, uh, I think I sold one to France to a lady that wanted to buy one for her husband um yeah i picked this up for uh three pounds from the charity shop so i'm looking to achieve um 19.99 for this uh, it's in good condition well better than good condition it's brand new uh, i just took it out of the bag just to take a picture of it so if you ever see that brand in the charity shop arrival make sure you uh buy that because it does sell pretty quickly a, and one of the uh, last pickups that I picked up um, the other day was this Nerf um, Hail Striker uh, Nerf gun. Uh, it still works, as you can see. I've sold two of these in the uh, past, but the ones that I sold didn't have the um, shield around the magazines. And I don't think they came with the, uh, the uh, what do you call this, the um, stub. <laughs> um but maybe my call of duty fans could tell me what that's called but um yeah it still works picked it up for around i think i paid four pounds for this and i'm hoping to achieve around 14.99 to 20 pounds for it so pretty cool um there's something else i wanted to talk about with you guys uh yeah this, that's right if you guys have a ebay store don't forget to um get your vouchers and your messages every month from ebay they give you a 10 pound voucher and you can uh, pick up different ebay branded uh mail items um not, not mail items um packaging items uh, as you can see i've picked up this big ebay bag i have 50 of these ones and i also have a uh, hundred 
of these ones that I picked up on my second month of um, getting the coupons. So, you know, um, I also have the grey bags also. I think the grey bags are a little bit smaller. Um, so what I usually do is the more expensive sales, I send them out in the orange bags. And then the less expensive sales or the smaller items that are a little bit smaller because these bags are a little bit smaller than this bag. Um, I send them out in this, but um, these eBay uh, orange bags, I guess they just they have a nice feel to them. They feel better quality than the uh, great poly mailer, and um, they also smell a little bit better. They smell like higher quality, which is strange to say, but it's true. Uh, so yeah, if you got an eBay shop and uh, you're subscribed and you pay each month. Um, make sure that you check your messages and get your coupons or your voucher so you can get your free um mail packing guide packages um what else can i show you guys oh that's about it right now as you can see i got my uh tripod because i'm going to get a better camera soon i'm just getting every bit everything slowly but um surely uh if you want, I'm going to show you guys a few sales that I got, a few good sales that I got over the last month. I'm going to pick the uh, better sales out and then show you. So let's get ready for that. And as uh, you guys might see, if you guys are long time subscribers to my channel, you might see that I um, changed the name of my channel to Better Product For You, which is the name of my eBay shop. So um yeah before it was dan buds now it's better product for you um it's just uh has a better ring to it and it's the name of my ebay shop so you know why not uh let me know what you think in the uh, comments about that so let's go ahead and uh show you guys a few good sales okay so the first sale i'm gonna show you is this portugal nike football top um it was basically brand new condition um sold for 49.99 and picked up for i believe three pounds 50. um so you can see the 50. um so you can see the uh profit margins there is just unbelievable and i wish every sale was like that um the next one though is even better um the next sale that i'm going to show you um I had a 2017 Cougar Barbarians um, rugby jersey, which I sold for 100 pounds. Um, it sold within like two or three days of me listing it. Um, I actually could have got more for this rugby top uh, because I saw one that sold for 300 pounds, but I just couldn't believe that it sold for that much. and. To say the truth, when I saw 300 pounds, I kind of got scared. <laughs> it's kind of weird, I know, but um, I put it up for, the, for 100 pounds because I paid three pounds for it and uh, from the charity shop. So I didn't really think it was going to sell for 100 pounds, but it did. Um, so nothing more to really say about it. You can see the profit margins. Uh, it was really nice. So let's get to the next one. Um, we got the men's Lacoste uh, shirt size five, uh, which equates to, I think, a large. Um, this one sold for $21.99. Um, yeah, so Lacoste, um, Nike, you know, Ralph Lauren, all these um, good brands are, you, you will get pretty good money. For those brands if you um, look for them in the charity shop and just make sure they're in good condition make sure there's no yellowing under the armpits or um you know uh, stains around the collar and look for um pulls and uh if there is no real signs of any uh defects on the shirt you should get good money um like i got for this one okay so let's uh look at another one um as you can see, we can see this uh, Ralph Lauren slim fit um, button up shirt, which sold for $19.95 plus £2.90 for shipping. Uh, picked up for, I believe, £3.50 from the charity shop. 
Um, it was really good condition. So, um, yeah, the charity shops that I go to here in uh, West London are unbelievable. Like, uh, the prices that they sell stuff for is just unbeatable. Um, and I think, oh, oh yeah, this uh, pair of uh, women's Levi jeans was sold for nineteen ninety nine, but I think I also got nine ninety nine shipping on top of that because it went to um, I forget which country it went to. It went to somewhere in Europe, I think. So yeah, I got a uh, twenty nine ninety nine for that. So I think I might have even made like a few pounds on the shipping. So that's another thing. If you do international shipping, you know, some most of the time you're probably going to gain, you know, a few pounds depending on how you send the item. If you send it, um, um, if you send it shipping uh, tracked or you just send it um, international standard. Um, okay, guys, I'm just going to get a sign to drink. Just bear with me real quick. Okay, and uh, the next uh, page I want to show you is basically uh, my active listings. Um, you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys, because I was on my Instagram the other day and uh, one of my followers was saying that they couldn't find the summary page on their, uh, for their store. So I'm not sure if it's only um, shops that have access to this, but if you click on your uh, active listings, you're going to see a uh, summary page and it's going to tell you the um, total amount of uh, items, what it's worth. Um, and it's going to have uh, the total amount of listings you have, um, ones with questions, and uh, it's going to have this number right here. Uh, you're going to see a uh, total amount of watches. So if you look at that maybe once a day, you'll be able to get a, a rough idea of uh, if you're gaining watches or if you're losing watches. And um, if you've been following me uh, previously in my other videos, I've shared my um, active listings. And I believe last time I shared them, they were probably at around 300. So as you can see, I've boosted it up to um, 395. Um, I'm only really just getting back to work um, like this last two weeks. Um, so. You know, hopefully within the next two weeks, I'll we'll boost that up to around 600. That'll be really nice. And um, maybe you might ask me if, did I see extra activity or extra sales um, since I have more listings now? And to tell you the truth, the answer is, I, I don't believe I'm seeing more money than I was when I had 200 listings. But the thing that I can say for certain is, during the um, holidays, like during December, I did I really listed about 10 items the whole month. And um, because I had so many items listed, it was able to withstand the, um, the absence of, um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, the absence of not listing. Um, I was still getting sales every day, even on Christmas day, um, because I had so much listed. Whereas if I would have only had maybe 200 items, um, it may not have carried me through the um, the dead period when I wasn't really listing. So it is uh, a benefit of having um, more items, but just because you have more items, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make more money. But um, my items are pretty good. I don't really have any low quality items. Uh, most of my items are over fourteen ninety nine, if not nineteen ninety nine. So um, maybe in the next uh, clip, I might show you a few of my most expensive items that I currently have listed. Okay, so as you can see, um, really the most expensive items that I have is thirty nine ninety five. Um, so if we just scroll down here, we'll be able to see like what kind of volume of items I have at that price. And uh, as you can see, I have quite a lot of items between that range of um, 20 to 30 pounds. Um, so, you know, when, when you're selling on eBay, you wanna make sure that um, your average selling price is not too low. Like you don't want your average selling price to be at like eight pounds because then you know you're gonna have to get a lot of sales every day in order for the um, numbers to add up. 
I mean, I daily, my, my, um, average selling price is at this moment, I think is $14.99 last time I looked. Um, maybe by the middle of the year, this year, I'm trying to get that up to $19.95 or $19.99. Um, but as you can see, I have, I don't really go below $14.99. That's like my, um, bottom number. I have a few items that are a little bit lower than that, but $14.95, that's about as low as I'm prepared to go uh, with free um, postage and packaging on top of that. Um, that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I'm back now. Hopefully, I can put out a few more videos um, more regularly. And uh, I hope you guys are making plenty of sales online and you're being productive. And um, if you guys didn't already see, I'm going to show you my Instagram where you can follow me before I sign up. Okay, so you guys can follow me at Better Product For You. Um, I share a lot of stuff on there, as you can see. Um, different types of stuff. Uh, I even share a little bit of uh, Bitcoin, which I've been getting into lately. And I will do a video on that maybe today or tomorrow and tell you guys what I've been getting into on the Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, cryptocurrency market. Um, if you guys ain't familiar with that, then I'll, maybe I'll do a quick video tonight about it. But this is my uh, Instagram, so you can find me at uh, Better Product for you. And uh, if you have any questions, then just um, message me on there, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, anyway, this is uh, Dan Bud's Better Product for you. Signing off. Peace. Built like camping.